Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Byron from Brawl Stars. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now I'm gonna pick a point in the middle of his hairline and draw a V shape like that. And from the ending point above, I'm gonna draw an arch curve line across. And from the middle point of that hairline, I'm gonna draw another diagonal line outwards at this lower point at the side of that V shape on both the left and right. And from the upper point, I'm gonna make a turn downwards from the side of the arch curve line. From the middle point of his hairline, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line to the outer corner on the left right here. Try and turn it diagonally up at the outer corner. And another similar line on the right side of that. Turn it downwards. From that same point, I'm going to draw a curve line to the right and slightly upwards. Copy the same set of shape on the right side right here. And at the side of his hairline, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards to the top of his beard. Curve line across to the right. Turn it diagonally downwards to the middle point. Turn it diagonally upwards to the right. Across to the right. And mirror the same set of line on the right side of the head. At the side of the face, I'm gonna draw a line outwards, turn it downwards. At the side of the beard, diagonal curve line across to the right and slightly downwards, sideways to the right, similar diagonal line back downwards to the right, sideways, curve line diagonally to the middle point of his beard. And I'm gonna mirror the same shape on the right side of the face. At the outer corner of the beard, I'm gonna draw a line at the side right there. And from that point, I'm gonna draw his ear with a semicircle line outwards. Turn it back inwards at this lower point. Inside of the ear, I'm going to draw a curve line diagonally across at the upper corner and semicircle line downwards below that. Above the ear, I'm going to draw a curve line upwards, semicircle turn diagonally to the side of his hair above. On the right side of that line, I'm going to draw a line across in the middle point, slightly below that, another one and another one. Above the ear, I'm going to draw a similar line at that corner. Copy the same shape of the hair and the ear on the right side of the head. Now for his glasses, in the middle of the face, I'm going to draw an arch curve line right there and I'm going to thicken that line. At the side of that arch curve line, I'm going to draw a circular shape on the left corner. And on the top left corner of that circular shape, I'm going to draw a small rectangular shape at that corner and fill that in with black color. I'm gonna mirror the whole thing on the right side as well. Above the glasses, in the middle point, I'm gonna draw his eye with curve line upwards for the inner line. Turn it sideways to the outer corner on the left. And 
and turn it back downwards with a curve line at the outer corner of the eye. Same as the turn across to the right. Inside of the eye on the right corner, I'm going to draw a line downwards right there. Above the eye on the right corner, I'm going to draw a triangular shape like that and fill that in with black color. I'm going to copy the same shape of the eye on the right side. Below his glasses, I'm gonna draw his nose with a V shape. And from the same point at the side, I'm gonna draw another V shape and stretch it upwards in the middle point, like that. Below the nose, I'm gonna draw an arch curve line for his mouth in the middle point. Now below his beard, I'm gonna draw his neck with line downwards off center on both the left and right right here diagonal line inwards and slightly downwards to the middle point turn it back outwards and down and diagonal line back to the left and out turn it upwards to the other side of the color mirror the same shape of the color on the right side and below the color in the middle point, align across and align downwards on both sides. Curve line across in the middle point. And below that, at the side, I'm going to draw diagonal line downwards and slightly out on both the left and right. Turn it back upwards to the middle point diagonally on both sides. At the side of the necktie, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line upwards to the side of his collar on both the left and right. Below the necktie, I'm going to draw a line downwards for the middle point of his vest. Branch it out with diagonal curve line on both sides below that. Turn it back upwards at the outer corner. Below that, I'm going to draw a V-shape for the buckle of his belt and above that V-shape, I'm going to draw an upside down similar V-shape inside of the buckle from the top right corner at the middle point another V-shape right there and from that point, sharp turn inwards diagonally Turn it downwards, sharp turn back upwards, across, and mirror the same shape on the right side. Above that set of line, I'm going to draw a short diagonal line on the left corner and on the right corner like that. Now at the side of his vest in the middle, I'm going to draw the color of his suit with curve line downwards from the side of his collar. Flare it out at the lower point diagonal line outwards same as turn back to the right and at the side of his neck on the left I'm gonna draw a curve line outwards same as turn downwards at the outer corner turn it diagonally inwards and down at that point below that any point I'm gonna draw his left hand with a diagonal curve line upwards and to the right Turn it back downwards, same as a turn downwards. Below that finger, I'm gonna draw another similar shape for the other finger. And repeat that again at this point, and another one. Same as a turn to the left, and below that, curve line downwards, diagonally to the left, same as a turn upwards on the left corner and same as a turn to the other side of the hand. 
Now around his wrist, I'm going to draw semi oval shape from the left corner, turn it back upwards on the right side. Align outwards to the left at the lower point of that oval shape and another one at the upper point. At the ending point at the side, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. On the left side of that, at the lower point, I'm going to draw a curve line out. Semis could turn back upwards diagonally to the side of his collar right there. Now on his upper finger, I'm going to draw two curve lines at this point right there. And below his hand, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards below the finger. And from the same point below the finger, another curve line down, flare it outwards to the left. On the left side of that, another curve line downwards, extend it downwards to the edge of that suit at this lower point, flare it out and same as turn back inwards. For the right side of the suit, I'm gonna copy the same shape at the middle point right here on the right. And I'm gonna copy the same shape at the side as this upper point. At that corner, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line downwards and to the right, turn it downwards and slide it inwards. On the right side of that, a diagonal curve line downwards, right there, and at the outer corner of that. I'm gonna do another curve line downwards, extend it downwards to the edge of the suit, flare it out, and Sam's gonna turn back inwards. Now for his right arm, I'm gonna draw below the collar at the side a diagonal curve line downwards and out. And for the inner line of the arm, at this lower point, another similar curve line. Sam's gonna turn out to the right. From the ending point above, I'm going to draw a semicircle line sideways right there. And on the right side of that, I'm going to draw his stick with a line downwards. At the upper ending point, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the right. Turn it downwards at the outer corner. Below that ending point, curve line across. Same as you could turn downwards at the outer corner. Turn it back inwards to the left. Same as you could turn upwards, sideways to the right. Repeat that same shape for the other fingers at this upper corner. and two lines downwards at this top finger right there and two lines downwards for the lowest finger at that corner at the upper point of that stick i'm going to draw at the sides curve line outwards and turn it back inwards mirror the same shape on the right corner curve line across right there. Repeat that same set of shape again at this upper point and in the middle point I'm gonna leave a gap right there and at the gap I'm gonna draw a V shape on the left and another one on the right. An arch curve line for the top part of that V shape yeah, I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. In between the two V shape, I'm going to draw a curve line across right there. From the sides, I'm going to draw another curve line outwards. Turn it back inwards diagonally to the middle point above. Mirror the same shape on the right side. Inside of that off center, I'm going to draw a tilted rectangular shape like that 
and I'm gonna fill that in with black color. Mirror that same shape on the right side as well. Below the hand at the outer corner on the right, I'm gonna continue the line of the stick downwards. Now going back to his belt, I'm gonna draw a line across from the side of his buckle at the upper corner and another one at the lower corner. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. Now below the buckle, I'm going to draw a line across for the middle of his pants. Turn it diagonally upwards at the sides. Below that, I'm going to draw the inner line of his leg with curved line downwards. Flare it out at the side of his knee with curved line and same as the turn downwards. For the outer line of that leg, I'm going to draw another curved line downwards on the left corner. Turn it inwards and below that another curve line downwards to the top of his boots. At that ending point I'm going to draw a semi oval shape surrounding the leg right there and another semi oval shape surrounding that first oval shape. From the right corner I'm going to draw a curve line downwards slightly inwards towards his ankle point and flare it back downwards below that. Curve line across to the left, turn it upwards on the left corner, same as could turn diagonally upwards to the right. Above that I'm gonna draw a curve line upwards and at that ending point I'm gonna draw a line across, turn it diagonally up and out on both sides and above that turn it back inwards and up and align across at the ending point right there above that I'm going to draw a line up and on the right side I'm going to draw a line across at this upper corner to the right and another similar line at this lower point a line downwards at the ending point on the right side for his right leg, I'm going to draw a line downwards at the outer corner. Flare it slightly out below the knee point. And I'm going to do the same thing for the inner line of that leg on the left corner right here. Copy the same oval shape for the top of the boots right there. Turn it downwards on the left corner slightly inwards and flare it back downwards below that. Curve line across to the right, turn it turn it upwards, arch curve line across to the left and slightly downwards. On the right corner a line upwards right there and I'm gonna copy the same shape of the detail on his boots similar to the one on the left, on the right side right here. For the edge of his suit, on the left, I'm gonna extend that curve line across to the side of his leg and continue that curve line in between the legs right there. Now for his back, I'm gonna draw on the left side of his shoulder, the diagonal curve line right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here. Below the hand, a line downwards on his sleeve. Same as a turn to the right at this lower point. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here. At the side, below his wrist, I'm going to draw a line downwards at this outer corner, same as I could turn diagonally inwards. And on the left side of that, a line outwards at this upper corner, same as I could line downwards and turn it back inwards at the lower point. A line downwards at that ending point, a U-curve line across to the right, turn it upwards. 
at the upper point and arch curve line to the right. I'm gonna copy the same shape on the right side right here. And for the lower part of his stick, I'm gonna do a line across. And below that, semicircle line downwards on both sides. Turn it back inwards at the lower point. Curve line across at this lower point. And from the sides below that, curve line out. Turn it diagonally in to the middle point. Mirror the same set of line on the right side. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.